Hey there, this is Victoria. Um, I'm a vegan mom, and today I thought I'd talk about omega 3s in the vegan diet. Yeah, that's right. Um, sometimes when people, when I'm chatting to people and I tell them that I'm vegan, I'm raising my kids as vegan, it's one of the questions that they ask me a lot. And, um, you know, where do you get omega 3s from if you're not eating fish? And are you not worried about your kid's brain? So I thought I'd talk about that today and uh, hopefully set some people's minds at rest. So what are omega-3s and why do we need them in our diet? Omega-3s basically reduce inflammation in the body. So according to Dr. Udo Erasmus, most of the world's top degenerative diseases can be drastically improved when we just increase our omega-3 to 6 ratio. So that would be things like heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's disease, lots of different brain problems, memory, intelligence IQ, um, anything if you've got anything that ends in ITIS, basically uh, omega threes reduce inflammation in the body, and any any of those like ulcerative colitis, colon um, inflammation in the colon, dermatitis, anything like that will be drastically improved when we increase our omega-3 to 6 ratio. If you're lacking in omega-3s, I mean, you, you, could, you could suffer from depression, you could be, have violent tendencies, and um, memory loss. So it's, it, obviously, omega-3s are really important in our diet. Where meat eaters get their omega-3s from is from fish. Um, they get, the, the fish convert the, um, omega-3s from algae and then the meat eaters get it in the long chain form of the DHA EPA already um, created. As vegans and vegetarians we take it in in the short form in the form of we can take it in flax seeds and dark leafy greens, we can take it in chia seeds, um, hemp seeds, hemp is great so if you're making it for a child for example you can um, make them a hemp milk that's really nice for kids or if you're making buns for your children, like um, cupcakes, um, you can blend up some flax and put a spoonful in of flax into the buns. Or if you make homemade bread, put a spoonful of flax into your homemade bread. One of the things that I do for my son Indigo is when I'm making rice, um, I always put some quinoa in with the rice and then I also put some chia seeds in with the rice because I actually don't like, you know when people post those chia dessert puddings and it just looks like goo to me? Um, but if you're making a bowl of rice, if, you, if you've got your pan of your rice on there and you've put a few, um, some quinoa in there and you put some chia seeds in, the, the rice, once it's fully cooked, it takes away all that gooiness and you're just left with rice and it's got the, the chia in and all the goodness with the omega-3. So that's one way that I do it. Walnuts are another excellent source of omega-3s and you can either just have a handful of walnuts or if you're making it for a child, one thing that I do is I... Um, put say the handful of walnuts into the blender, blend it into a flour and put it into, if I'm making oat cookies for my son, um, I put the, all the walnuts into the oat cookie mix and they don't even notice it's there and it's a great way to get your children to have the omega-3s in something that they enjoy eating. So what's the deal with the ratios of omega-3s to 6s and why do we need to reduce our omega-6s and is our omega-6s bad for us? They will, the quick answer is no, omega-6s are actually essential, we need them in our diet, omega-6s are responsible for growth and, and, and for the cell reproduction, um, so omega-6s are very important. The problem, um, specifically for vegans and vegetarians, is that we get our omega-3s in the, in the short form of the essential fatty acids in the, from say, chia seeds, hemp seeds flax seeds and then our body needs to convert that into the long form EPA DHA which reduces the inflammation in our body. Now, so we have an enzyme in our body and that, that does this transformation and when we have too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s, basically the omega-3s and the 6s compete with each other um, for this use of this enzyme and when we've got too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s um, we can become omega-3 deficient because our body doesn't um, function efficiently enough at converting the omega-3s. So some people say on the paleo diet would argue that you don't actually need to decrease your omega-6s at all so long as you have a good source of the long chain omega-3s in the form of the EPA DHA and they would get that from say their fish. 
So for us as vegans and vegetarians, what we recommend to do, or what the experts recommend to do, is to reduce your cooked oils and um, so and your refined oils such as sunflower oil, safflower oil, cottonseed oil, things like that. And you can still have omega sixes in the forms of avocados and almonds in the in the good healthy whole foods forms. Um, but if you cut cut down on the cooked food oils, then that will help to bring your omega three six ratio back into balance. If you're concerned about your omega-3 to 6 ratio and you just want to make sure that you are getting enough omega-3s in your diet, that your um, ratio is good, there's an app that you can download for your phone. It works on both Android and on um, iPhone and it's called Chronometer. You can even download it to your PC. And basically what you do is you input into the app everything that you've eaten and the exact quantities you've eaten it in. And then at the end of the day, it'll tell you the ratio of omega-3 to 6s. And if you were to do this for about a week, the likelihood is then you'll know on a day-to-day -day basis um, what your omega-3 to 6 ratio is and if you do need to change your diet slightly in order to get your ratio back in balance. And for most people, you know, we eat the same thing really week in, week out and so you probably have an idea then of um, what you need to do continuing. If you're vegan mom and you're pregnant or breastfeeding and you just want to make sure you have a good source of the long chain um, DHA, EPA for your child's brain. You can take a supplement. I actually take a supplement at the moment because I'm breastfeeding. I take the Opti 3 one here. Um, and it's for, from sourced from algae. Um, so it's, it's up to you. It's, you've got a choice. Um, when I, before, when I wasn't breastfeeding and I wasn't pregnant, I wasn't taking any supplementation at all. And I feel, felt really good. I never felt depressed. I never had any problems. Um, so it's all personal choice whether you want to take a supplement or not, if you feel that you're um, depleted or not. Um, but really what's the recommended is just increase your omega-3s in the forms of the good seeds, the flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, leafy greens, so you can do lots of juicing and, and blending the leafy greens in with your smoothies. And just reduce the cooked oils down to nothing <laughs> and you can still get your omega-6s from say almonds and avocados. If you enjoyed this video please give me the thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can learn about omega-3s too and I'd love to hear your your thoughts on the matter so leave me a comment below if you think there's anything I should have included that I didn't or if there's anything that you, you think you, you have different thoughts on. I'd love to hear your opinions too and um, if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to keep in touch with what we're doing and um, I look forward to speaking with you in a future video. Bye!